Hey guys, it's Erin with Hand Stamp Style, and I want to share with you really quickly a few tips on, oh, let me zoom out just a little bit here so you can see what I'm doing. A few tips on how I created this um, scrapbook page. Um, it, it really is really simple. These squares, I just cut a bunch of different um, uh, different colored squares. I'm looking for my ruler because I don't remember. I, I cut these so long ago. I want to say they're two inches. Yeah, they're two inch by two inch squares. And I just decided what color scheme I was going to use and started from there. Um, I think I did 10 or so of the um, Cajun Craze and I think six of the um, Lucky Limeade and six of the Baja Breeze, I believe. And then these are just three by three um, photo mats here. Um, really, the secret to getting this page straight and um, not really symmetrical, but um, to get it to look like Argyle, because if it's all jacked up, it's not going to look like Argyle, is this trick here. I don't know. Hopefully, you guys can see that I've got a little score line. Let me see if I can focus on it. You see that score line? What I did is I took my 12 by 12 paper and I scored it three inches um, in from the side and that was my my lining up point basically. And so what I did is hopefully, I don't know if you guys can see that, um, there's, I'm going to zoom in just for a little bit so you can see there you go. Now you can see the, the line. And I'm just going to show you with a couple of squares here what I did. Um, I started in the middle because I knew I wanted to have a couple of them hang over the edge. And to get those straight was just too hard. I apologize, I apologize if it continues to keep um, auto-focusing because it's, my fingers are there. But what I did is I took the corners of each of the squares for this top line and I used this score mark as my um, guiding line basically and so I started kind of off to the center but not all the way to the edge and I lined up my two edges on that score line and then adhered it down. Now of course before I adhered it I texturized my squares. Um, in my class I had some people who used the embossing folders which were super cute so you could run them through um, with an embossing folder, or um, originally I used the um, uh, da, 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 the Simply Score, and I scored those little lines um, in them. Or some people use the crimper, and that worked out great. Excuse me. So, um, so once you texturize them, and then you just line up that first line, but you have to be sure to adhere them down before you move on to the other areas of your page. Um, so you'll just line up the little ends the little edges of your of your square and do you see how that really gives you a very even line and so let me flip this back over let me zoom out just a little bit here once you get that first line lined up on that score mark then you can position your next line um, underneath them and they'll automatically be straight and then you just work your way down from there um, and then after I adhered all those, I came back and attached um, my little white pieces of, you know, whatever you want to call them, thread or whatever. I don't know the terms for argyle, but, um, and then once I finished that, I came back and added the photo mats. And then I just put the little sentiment down at the bottom. And that's just the um, scallop circle number two die. I believe is retired now and I used um, in order to get the words I used the um, it's retired as well the happy birthday um, it was it's I can't remember what it's called the thin long plate that said happy birthday in the old catalog and we just did the word day like three times and then cut and pasted it together so I hope this is really helpful for you and I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on how to put this page together. Like I said, it is super easy once you get that first line down. It just goes really quickly. Um, honestly, the, the most time consuming thing is really um, 
getting the, all the squares cut out and texturizing them. So I hope you give it a shot. It's a really cute page and depending on the colors you can use, um, you can make it for any occasion and for any gender. Super, super fun. So I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.